Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating some of the new features and design in the latest iOS 26 software update by Apple. This software update will be releasing to the public very soon and I thought it'd be a great idea to run you through the latest changes. So let's get straight into it. All right, so iOS 26 was announced by Apple back in WWDC of June of this year, and it announced some major design changes, the biggest design overhaul since iOS 7. And you can see it right from when you go to the home screen. So you can see that many of the app icons may look a little bit different um, to what's currently on your iPhone with iOS 18. And you can see um, a few notable ones. The camera icon is quite different here. We've got some more liquid glass sort of looks on the mail icon and podcast, and even some of the icons at the bottom. Um, you can see the phone, Safari, messages, and music icon all look slightly different. And that translates even to third-party apps where they've added some more liquidy designs on some of them. This is all a part of what they're calling liquid glass, which is the redesign where everything has more of a sort of a liquidy glass sort of style. You can see this especially when you pull down the notification bar here. So if I pull this down, you'll see even some of the attention to detail when I'm pulling the bar down and some of the liquid glass sort of movements and refraction of light that is occurring as I pull that bar down. It's actually quite impressive what they've been able to achieve here. Um, the fact that I can do that and then um, it looks really good like that. You can also see now that we're in the notification menu that uh, these notifications have more of a sort of transparent and glassy sort of look. And even in the corners here, you can see more of that bending and refraction of light. So it's actually very impressive what they've been able to achieve here. Um, however, with all of these new features, it does come with a little bit of a battery hit. And I think that um, that's what I've experienced personally with my iPhone 15 Pro um, but there's also a lot more processing that would have to happen for some of these effects, but they are very impressive. Even opening things like folders, you can see the way that the light is refracting and bending around the edges, just like real glass would as well. We can also see changes in the control center. Um, so when I pull this down, you'll see that um, it shows up like this. And again, we've got that liquid glass design shining through. As you swipe up and down, you'll also notice the way that the um, sort of control center responds like by bouncing around um, and it's actually quite um, responsive and actually feels like a really nice overall update. You can go to the website so I'll leave this linked down in the description below if you'd like to see more about iOS 26 but this gives you an idea of what the overall software update is like. Um, and most of this update is definitely for that liquid glass design. And as you scroll down, you'll also see the supported devices. So uh, the minimum supported devices for iOS 26 is the iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, and iPhone 11 Pro Max, as well as the iPhone SE second generation. So if you've got any of those devices or newer, you will be able to install the latest iOS 26 update. Now, it will be releasing soon, um, as you can see, available on the 16th of September, according to Apple's website. Now in Safari, you can even see more of these features with the liquid glass sort of, uh, the way it is refracting around some of these website elements. Again, um, showcasing that bar with that consistent liquid glass design. And as I switch to dark mode here, I'll do that like so. As I switch to dark mode, you'll see that in Safari, it hasn't really changed. But if we go to something like music, for example, you'll see that we have some responsiveness down the bottom there as well with that uh, liquid glass design. And if I switch back to light mode, you'll see that sort of change there as well. So it dynamically sort of switches depending on the background it has, which is really impressive. You'll also notice a bit of an animation change. So going in and out of apps like Safari uh, makes it the animation look a little bit faster and much more smooth and just a little bit more of a modern design, changing things up a little bit again with the overall design of the phone. 
Opening the camera app is also quite impressive. So and they've done a huge overall of this, this app here. So um, by default, you'll actually only really see the photo and the video options. Um, to see the others, you have to actually tap on it and then you'll be able to go around and see all of your other options here. Um, as well as the fact that we've got some menus up here so I can easily change uh, my format of the photo or video I want to take as well as some of the other settings here um, that I can access quickly. If I want to find any more of the settings, I have to swipe up and then you'll see they show up here. So they're a little bit hidden and it may take a little bit of getting used to, but I think it's a good overall design change for the iPhone. And finally, we've also had a bit of an overhaul in the settings app. So I'll just show you that now. So as we head over into the settings app, again, you'll see that new animation as it pops in and you'll see that this looks slightly different as well. So we've got the consistent search part bar at the bottom of apps now, rather than being at the top. And then you can see that this has an overall new design as well. So if we go into something like battery, this has a huge new design um, compared to previous years. And you can see that we've got a little bit of a battery indicator at the top here saying 79% last charged to 90% two hours ago. And it says I'm using a similar amount of battery today as I usually do by this time. Um, and then it goes into much more detail. We can even see that within the battery health area, we can see how my phone is doing. I'm at 89% with 587 cycles. That's on my iPhone 15 Pro. I've been using it pretty consistently other than a month when I tested the Galaxy S25 Edge. Um, I've been using this phone since launch. Um, but you can see that there's differences in power mode. We've got adaptive power where it says when your battery usage is higher than usual, iPhone can extend your battery life by making performance adjustments such as lowering display brightness, allowing some activities to take longer or turning on low power mode at 20%. So you can decide to turn that on or off. And here you'll actually see some of the new animations as well. So this has like a liquid glass sort of slider on it. If I tap it, you'll see it coming in and out. So there's a lot of attention to detail on this update. But if we have a look at how my battery usage has been going, we'll see that yesterday I used 101% with four hours and 58 minutes of screen active time, four hours and 40 minutes of screen idle time. The day before I had just two hours and 58 minutes of screen active time and 18 hours and 57 minutes of screen idle time and used 126% of my battery. Looking at Wednesday, I only had one hour and 33 minutes of screen active time and three hours and 44 minutes of screen idle time and used 133% of my battery. So it has been draining a lot of battery compared to what I was getting on iOS 18 on this device. I understand that the battery is degrading a little bit now as this device is getting, um, is around two years old now, but it definitely does seem to take a little bit of a hit. I have been running a beta on this phone though, so that would sort of be expected that the battery life would be a little bit worse than usual. So we'll have to wait and see what the release candidate and the final releases are like after I've used those a little bit longer. So that's pretty much the main features on the new software update of iOS 26 that's coming to your devices very soon. Hopefully this video was helpful. It's given you a good idea of the overall main new features for the software update. There's some other features as well, but this video mainly went into more of the redesigned aspects of this software. There's also features like call screening where um, your phone can try to determine whether there's a scam call and try to alert you to that. And there's many other features as well. So definitely let me know in the comments below if you'd like a more in-depth review of this software um, and all of the new features. I thought I'd just cover the main ones and design changes that you'll notice straight away when you update. I think this is a really great new design. I've been really enjoying it. I've um, been running the betas for at least around a month now. So it's been a really excellent experience. Um, and yeah, it'll be really great uh, for more people to be able to get this when it releases very soon to the public. Um, if you do want to try it out before it's released, you can go to settings, then go to general, then software update. I'll wait for this to load in a moment. Uh, you can see that uh, there is the latest update, but I will need to create some storage for that. But if you click into beta updates here, you'll see that there's the option for off iOS 26 public beta or iOS 26 developer beta. So if you do want to try this out just a little bit early, you can click on that iOS 26 public beta and you'll be able to install the update. One more thing that I think is worth noting is even just the way that the phone animates when you lock it now. So you'll notice that when I lock it, the apps will sort of fly out. So I'll do that now. And you'll see the way that the apps sort of fly out. I can try that again. 
and you can see that there. Even when I pull down the notification panel, you'll see it happens again. And then when I pull it down, it's like it's unlocking the phone again. So I think it's a really nice touch of the animations. When I lock it one more time, you'll see it again here. And that flies out and then I can unlock it as usual. So that's another really nice attention to detail from the Apple software developers. One thing that is very hard to show in video that I'll try and um, end this video on is you can actually see that there's so much attention to detail. It's very impressive. Just the way that the light refracts as I move my phone around on the dock. Again, it's very hard to show that in the video, but you might see that it's sort of moving around as I'm moving my phone there. Another very impressive feature. So yeah, I've been really enjoying this software, as I said, and it's a really great update alongside the latest release of the iPhone 17, iPhone 17 Pro, as well as the iPhone Air, which I'm really excited to check out at some point as well. And once again, this is running on my iPhone 15 Pro and the software update runs from all the way from the iPhone 11 to the iPhone 17 Pro series. It is also probably worth noting that it is quite a large install when you're moving from iOS 18 to iOS 26. Um, so just be aware that if you've got a lower capacity iPhone or if your iPhone is quite full on storage, you may need to clear some files off before you're able to install the latest software update. And with that, thanks for watching this video on Unpacked Technologies. Definitely let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a more in-depth review of this software or any specific features that I may have missed in this video because I'm more than happy to make that if you'd like to see that. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.